Hi everyone, let's get started. Before we create our keychain, we need to do a bit of preparatory work. Click on File Explorer and let's look for the Windows font directory. Go to the C drive and double click on Windows. Scroll and look for your fonts folder. Double click on the fonts folder and let's copy one or two font files onto the desktop. So go back to your desktop, right click to create a new folder, call it fonts, go back to your Windows fonts folder, right click, click on copy. Go to my fonts folder, right click and paste. You can do this for a few other fonts. I'll do for one more. So I like thick fonts like this because they print really well. So let's go ahead and choose this. Right click, copy, right click and paste. So let's close this folder and double click my fonts folder there should be two font files in there so let's close them now go to FreeCAD and if it's not already open start the program we will create a new empty document go to this drop down menu and select part design if it's not already selected we will create a new sketch by clicking on this icon or going to task and create a sketch go to xy plane and select xy plane and click ok you will see this uh, look for create a slot in a sketch so click on that Bring your mouse to the center, click once to start and create a 20 by 60 millimeter size slot. Click to finalize the design, close and we will create a 2D, 3D shape from this sketch. Click on this button to change the view to exometric view now click on pad or in task pad now you have a 3d shape the length of the height we will change from 10 to 2.5 millimeters and finally we check the reverse box to make this shape below the XY plane. So I'll click OK. Let's go back to the top view and in order to zoom in and out use your middle scroll button and the middle mouse button to pan. Okay go to this drop down menu and select draft. The icons will change to this type of uh, icons look for this as creates text string in shape click on it and we will create the text on our slot change everything back to zero 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 and press enter and here we type the text i will type the program press enter let's change the height to 10 enter and leave the tracking at zero. Now here's where we select the font file that we copied to the desktop earlier. We go to desktop uh, fonts and choose either fonts. Now zoom out to get a better view. So this is our font. We need to rotate this back. So click on rotate. Leave everything is this zero base angle will be 0 and change the rotation to 90 press enter 
Now we have our text, which is a little bit bigger than the slot. Not to worry, we can change that later. So click on this drop down menu and go to part design again. Change to axonometric view, kind of view of the preview process. Now, if you remember, we click once on pad to generate a 3D shape of the text here. So we will change this length from 10 to 1.5 and press enter. Now let's scale this down a little bit. Change just the top view. Click on this tab model. Now we have two pads here, the slot and pad 001 which is the text tab. So click on this area and click on shape string. Now remember we set this text size as 10 so let's change that to something a bit smaller. Let's say 7.5. Press enter. That fits inside the slot but let's move it to the center. So in order to do that, go to placement, click on these three dots here and let's move it in the y direction by minus and click OK. So it's quite close to the center. Now the final thing to do is we need to put a hole here for the um, keychain. So click once on the surface, the top surface, and then we are going to create a new sketch. Look for this icon which says create a circle in the sketcher click on it bring your mouse so that it hovers above this middle horizontal line click on mouse and drag and click again so that's your circle now we can size this exactly by clicking the circle and looking for this icon which sets the radius of the circle. Okay, at the moment it's 2.8, let's go and change it to 2.5. Press enter. Now, we need to put a hole right through here. Close this sketch, and we use this create a pocket function, or go into task and click on pocket. That should create the hole. OK and we're ready to save this file. So click on the icon or file, save. Let's give it a name. Let's say key chain. Click on save. And there's one final thing we need to do and that's to export this key chain. So if we click the file export will complain because we didn't select the object that we'd like to export. So click OK. Go back to model. Click once on pad to select the text. And once again on pocket. But as soon as you click on pocket, the pad will be unselected. So to multiple select, hold down control and click on pad again. Now we're ready to export. I like to use the, the same file name but with a different extension. So type in key chain and save as type. Make sure it's flash formats. And click save. So go to your folder that you save it your file into and you will find this two files that you generated. The SD file will be ready for 3D printing, so if you double click on that and this 3D printing software is installed in your computer, you will 